What is up, everybody? Solomon here. Super excited to be at Consensus 2024. Here we are again at the Hedera booth. We are interviewing a multitude of builders across Web3. Super excited today to have Irfan from Dovu. I uh, would love if you guys could maybe provide us a little bit of an overview of some of the initiatives that Dovu is contributing into the uh, growth of Web3. Yeah, thanks for uh, thanks for having me. Yeah, uh, I'm really excited to be here at Consensus in Austin. Um, Dovu, basically, we're building the platform of trust for uh, the for carbon credits for ecological credits. Um, you know, the whole the whole ethos of of Dovu really is to enable any carbon or environmental project on the planet to easily participate in the carbon economy. And there's been some real big blockers there in the past in terms of cost to get on board, cost to get your credits uh, sort of minted and verified and, uh, and sold. And we, got, we leverage sort of technology to sort of lower those costs, leverage AI, you know, leverage the Hedera ecosystem and the Hedera platform to make the cost a hell of a lot lower in order for everybody to participate. And that's what we've been building out over the last number of years. It's a hard problem, you know, but it's a problem worth doing. Yeah, and it's always interesting when you look at ESG and especially the carbon credits market, uh, carbon credits markets traditionally, where, you know, I would love if you could maybe just give us a brief overview of some of the problems that exist there, whether they're liquidity or like even provenance aspects, like what's real, what's not real, greenwashing. I'm sure there's a lot. The issue is, is quality. You know, everything comes down to quality. And, you know, we've, the, the whole carbon sort of credit, sort of, uh, um, you know, sort of environment really has been fraught with lack of quality, you know. And some of it is, is because it's embryonic, it's new. Therefore, the methodologies are new. Um, the sort of structures to verify things are new. Um, so therefore, and also we're trying to measure nature in a lot of ways. And, you know, we're, nature's not very good at being measured. It's very unpredictable. So we've got a problem with that quality, you know. So there's a real race now, you know, for buyers to, to look for true quality projects. And what I mean by quality is ones that can be fully verified, you know, not just from the creation of those credits, but actually, you know, verifiable in terms of the actions that were promised are actually being done. And I think that's where, that's where the big issue is. So you've got huge corporates that have made commitments to become net zero by 2030. Um, and there aren't enough credits out there, quality credits out there, even for one of them. Let's take Microsoft, for example. There are not, not enough quality credits out there for Microsoft to hit their goals by 2030. So that's just one corporate. So when you start to add all of that up and then you have government issues and everything else, that's the, that's the main issue is supply. Supply is the issue, and then the quality of supply. If you get that right, then you'll get the buyers coming in and sort of buying it, because they'll feel comfortable then making that call, making that purchase, and having those assets on their balance sheets, especially public companies that need to publish those and get them audited. So the, but the issue is, if you can fix the quality supply, have it all verifiable, build a trust layer, then you'll have, a, have something that can really, really scale. I think one of the things that's been interesting to watch uh, from the Dovu journey standpoint, at least for me for, as an outsider looking in, is that you guys do kind of um, cultivate user experience too within the ecosystem. And it's, you know, ESG, which is fantastic, obviously. But then you think about things like DeFi. Um, can you talk a, bit, a little bit about how that kind of plays into kind of the circular economy aspects that you guys are kind of building out within, uh, within Dovu? Well, you've got two sort of audiences for Dovu. You have uh, the, the Dovu token holder. And then you have the, the Dovu clients who are buying and selling and minting sort of carbon. And, you know, you know leveraging sort of Dovu OS, which we're sort of building out, we're, gonna, we're combining the two so that the utility of the token will give access to the services within the Dovu platform. And then from a Dovu token holder perspective, using DeFi to create a staking mechanism as simple as possible. You know, we've built, I think, probably one of the best staking sort of systems out there. You know, uh, a very easy sort of user experience. So from a DeFi perspective, you can, you know, uh, um, hold a Dovu token, you can stake it, you can earn from it, and then you can use those tokens as well to, to use the services within, uh, within the Dovu sort of platform as well. Um, so I think the two things have to be linked up. There is a, you can't just, you know, focus on one part of the business. You've got to sort of really bring the two in, but that takes time. 
There's so many tokens out there right now that have zero utility, zero value, that nobody's building anything underneath it. And they're just trading mechanisms. It's just a, it's just a trading token. We've always wanted to build a business that, that is actually business first, and then the tokens integrated into it. Sometimes to the frustration of token holders, you know, but we're, this is a marathon, not a sprint. You know, we're building something of, of massive scale, of real value, and something that's going to help the planet, you know, and on the way, token holders will be, will be, will be you know, sort of, uh, they'll, we'll help them as well. Yeah. And I think it's interesting if you look out at the, you know, a lot of what exists out there right now, it's like recycle, it's almost like recycled liquidity going just back and forth between projects that are promising X, Y, and Z. Um, one thing that I, I kind of would love to pick your brain on, because I know that Dovu has been at this for at least a few years at this point in time. Yeah. The state of the industry, kind of the pulse oh, is always changing because there's so much innovation occurring. From the knowledge and recognition standpoint, have you guys seen a shift um, over the past, let's say, year compared to where we were at last year or maybe a couple of years ago as far as people coming up and understanding the importance of ESG, the work that Dovu's doing, Hedera, things like that? 100%. So, I mean, we, we announced a deal uh, a few months ago now, which was an Indian government initiative for this sort of recycling of motor vehicles over there. We're going to be announcing more deals over in India linked to the Indian government. And the, um, so when suddenly we've got government participation in terms of what we're doing. Um, we have corporate participation in terms of what we're doing. And, and that's built on the sort of, you know, over the last few years, the idea that sort of MasterCard would have a crypto wallet or you could sort of uh, use Revolut as a bank in the Europe as a, and buy crypto, you know, on a sort of normal banking system. The on-ramps and the off-ramps, obviously the ETF stuff has helped massively in terms of um, sort of, you know, overall crypto confidence. So all of those things start to play a part in people not going, hey, we're not going to work with you because you've got a token and you're sort of in the sort of crypto sphere to like, well, the to for people who don't care about the token in our business, they don't, they just ignore the token. They just use our platform. And for the people who care about the token, they see all the other activity that's going on on our platform. And they're going like, wow, this is, this could be huge. So we need to, we need to participate in this. So I think the, the pulse is really positive. Um, we were over a token 2049 in Dubai, where we just opened an office as well. Um, the buzz there was off the scale, you know, it's very different. Consensus is different because it's more corporate, but is, uh, there's, I'd say there's more quiet optimism that's around here, you know. So uh, in terms of the overall global pulse of the industry, everything is pointing in the right direction. We as a company sort of ignore the bull and the bear. It, it's irrelevant to us in terms of what we're building. You know, um, so we just head down build and, uh, and we're all in. We believed in it from the beginning. We've never deviated from it. I don't care if it's a bull or a bear, you know, we're, 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 we're still here and we're building. A hundred percent. And I would love if you could, uh, I mean, congratulations again with the Indian government. That's huge because especially in that jurisdiction, we know that they've been kind of slow to move on some of the adoption aspects. Um, any other notable milestones that stick out to you within Dovu? Uh, and then if you could provide us a little bit of your vision for the future within Dovu, what are you really excited about uh, in the near term and then looking further out? Yeah, well, I mean, it's, it's, I'm going to use the, the AI. I'm going to use AI. I have to, you know, because what's exciting for, over the last few months is that, you know, the system used to be that if you wanted to get project documentation for your project, for your environmental project, <laughs> You would have to go to a consultant. You'd have to pay tens of thousands of dollars, maybe wait six months for the consultant to be available. Then they would write a project documentation, you know, and they would do a full thing. And then they would then send that off, you know, to a verifier or whatever. We can do that now on our platform in about six minutes. You know, we, we've ingested the methodologies. You know, we've, we've applied that AI layer to it. And then we've created a user experience where that project owner just goes, I have a farm, it's 10 hectares or acres, I've got 20 trees, one cow and a chicken, you know, press publish and it'll publish the documentation um, on the methodology they want. So I think we're really excited about that because it, going back to what I was saying earlier, it speeds up the supply problem, it speeds up the onboarding problem. So that's, that's, that's you know, we, we, we're absolutely loving that.
Um, we're just rolling out the our sort of payment system where you can own Dovu tokens and then use it within our platform to to access services. So that's we over the next few days you'll see that sort of roll out um, as a sort of uh, early sort of alpha sort of phase, which we're really excited about. But really, what we want to be, and then the API, of course, for the supply. So we we, we really create a registry. Um, and then we plug an API into that so that anybody can access it. So the, uh, we see the future as being fast onboarding of supply, trust layer on Hedera to sort of prove where everything is. You know, we use Guardian as a, uh, you know, the, uh, the Hedera product. And, the, um, and then, but ultimately we want our credits to be embedded really within any service so the way i see things going forward would be you go and make a buy a cup of coffee you know it's that that service provider is plugged into dovu and there's a micro transaction happening for every sort of purchase so fast supply and then demand everywhere you know that's the that's the how do we get the faster supply and demand everywhere and how do we build the rails for that and that's the direction of travel for us. And uh, yeah, we're very close to, to being able to do that. That's fantastic. Well, it's been such an honor, uh, Irfan, for, to be able to interview you today. Uh, check out Dovu, guys. Uh, social impact with streamlined onboarding and actionable insights. It's really cool to have the opportunity and look forward Thanks, to man. all the initiatives coming out in the near future. Appreciate that. Thank you.